Hey friend, Darren here. I've had a few of my subscribers ask me how I show my screen on the computer while I'm doing tutorials just like this. So I wanna show you how I have this set up. What I use is this software from GitHub called Scorsby or Screespy or <laughs> whatever it's spelled, S-C-R-C-P-Y. And basically it allows you to plug your phone into your computer with a wire and then just run this and it will pop up this little window. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up right now. So this readme, and I'll have this link in the description, this readme walks uh, how to set this up a few different ways. We're gonna use the kind of simplest way in case you're not super comfortable um, working with from the command line and this is the way that I do it so it's definitely fine. So come down here to where it says Windows and we'll download at this link right here. We'll just click on that and that will download it right here. And then you just extract this folder and then put it wherever you want. I already have it opened up over here. This is what I'm running it on right now. And so let me go ahead and close down the preview right here. And once you have your phone set up, you'll want to come here and click uh, either the, the regular EXE or the no console EXE. The regular one will open up a terminal window, which you might not need. So you can just exit out of that. I use the no console. So you can just click on that and that opens up the screen. Now, if it doesn't work, then you probably don't have your phone set up to where it can be read by this software. So on my Android, I go down from the top and I go to my settings. And then you want to look for right down here, developer options. You can uh, even search for it, you know, search for developer options. Mine is right there. Now, if you don't see this, then you need to turn on developer options, which you will likely need to do if you haven't done it before. So if you go to your system and you go to about iPhone, the way you turn on developer options is you scroll down to the, let's see, the build number, I believe it is. And so we'll just tap on that. And you think you're supposed to do it seven times. And as I'm tapping on it, it's saying developer mode has already turned on. So just tap on this, turn on developer mode, and then go to your developer options. And then you'll need to come down to debugging and turn on USB debugging. So if I turn this off, it's going to crash and you're not going to see my phone anymore. So I'll turn that back on and then come back here and restart the software. And then now you see my phone again there on the screen. So. That is how I share my screen these days in my tutorials. I used to do the whole nonsense of you know, doing a screen recording of the phone and then patching them together inside of my editing software. And I just find this so much easier. And I guess a little, a little quirky tidbit for you. The reason I can't pronounce this name and the reason it's named so weirdly Right here at the bottom of the README, uh, they say a colleague challenged them to find a name that is unpronounceable. And so I really don't know how to pronounce it, but that's how it's gonna be. So that is how to show your Android screen on a Windows desktop with a cable. Thanks for watching.